hashtag Future Cape Town. Good Hope FM. Opening the airwaves to the youth of Cape Town. That was just for you. Just for <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. I feel, I feel very honored, Dan. <laughs> Hood Heroes, uh, Future Cape Town, you have been busy with something absolutely amazing. When uh, yeah. when we got the information, I was just blown away, and I just said, "Dude, I, I know this lady, and I mean, I I know this talent, to say the least." But listen, well, yeah, um, I mean, it's not me who's the real talent here, but I'm just a piece of the puzzle. I like that though, because it takes many pieces to make the puzzle complete. It really does. Nicola, why would you say there's a young person? Why did you choose film as the medium to express yourself? As we're talking about future Cape Town, Nicola Daddy, of course, one of the directors of the short film Protege. Right, so I'm the producer for a, a production company, an up-and-coming uh, production company called BTG Productions, basically. And I mean, you work in media, so you know that art and media can be a really incredible vehicle for change. I'm sure you feel every day, like, coming on air, that you have some kind of impact, right? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> And it's a calling. For you, radio is probably a calling. For us, it's it's making film, it's making content. That is like the calling in whatever form it takes. So for me, it's it's producing. And the the two guys who have created BTG Productions, they're awesome. I'm like their biggest fan girl, Stephen Nagel and Dean Raval. Basically what they do as part of this like um, creative collective they just create space for upcoming artists in Cape Town to join their projects and to like learn and grow alongside them with the goal, of course, in the future to be able to stimulate the local film industry and um, to give South Africans great content to watch, which is being told from perspectives maybe that they are not usually used to seeing or voices that aren't usually put at center stage. So that's kind of like the first half of why BTG Productions and Dean and Steve and everything they do is super awesome. 100%. Nicola, tell us a little about the movie as well as, as, I mean, what inspired it? Okay, so the film that's the latest film that they they are shooting, which is coming up very soon, they're shooting in the middle of July, it's called Protégé. And... um, The reason that it's so important is because this film is focusing on a topic and and an issue that so many South Africans think about on a daily basis and are concerned about. And that is GBV in South Africa, as well as justice around this topic of GBV. So basically, like the film Protégé is tackling those types of topics that I believe that more people need to be talking about and using their skills and their platforms to address. So that's exactly what they've decided to do. I mean, you can make the choice to make a film about anything, but this is where they've decided to go because it is such a a, a topic that is so close to so many South Africans' hearts, you know? We love that. Nicola Daddy chatting to us, Future Cape Town, as we celebrate Youth Month. Nicola, why would you say also that it's important for us to talk about these issues on a daily basis because it happens that we only talk about these things when something happens or something happens to somebody we know, but I think maybe it's important that we talk about this all the time. What are your thoughts? I mean, maybe not all the time, I suppose, but I do think that we, in order for something to change, we really need to be having this dialogue. And I know that everyone has different skills and different talents and different platforms, but I feel like in whatever way we can and what, with whatever we have, we should be moving in a direction towards change. So basically, you know, that's what Dean and Steve and their team are looking to do. You know, they want to tell these bold stories. They want to give these fresh perspectives. They want to work with local people who are interested in telling these stories so that we can make a change, so that we can make people think about um, these types of topics, maybe from a new perspective. That's how art is so amazing, because you should walk out and be thinking about it for a while afterwards and hopefully it shifts your perspective in a positive way. Nicola, before we say goodbye, last comments for the youth, all young people that want to get into the world of film. Where do we start? What do we do? (laughs) 
<laughs> well, I'll start off with a slightly negative spin and then move it into a positive space. It's really difficult to break into the <laughs> film industry. It's really difficult to break into media. And funding for films in South Africa and globally is really, really difficult. Oh. Which is why, for example, we are crowdfunding for this film. So what I would say from, from BTG Productions' um, perspective, they have been grinding in this space for about a decade now. And they are still going. So I would say tenacity and finding creative ways of finding your audience and finding your funding. And that's what we're doing with Protégé now is we're finding funding through crowdfunding, for example, so that we can create something really beautiful and then go to producers and production companies and say, hey, look, we've been doing this. We've been hustling, and even with the little that we've ha- that we have, we've been able to create something incredible. Don't you want to work with us? You know, so that kind of attitude, that kind of forward motion, and never giving up. I love that. Thank you so much, Yutam. All the best. We can't wait to see your latest creation. Stan, before I say goodbye, can I just say that I would love if people could check out our social media at BTG Productions ZA. So BTG like. Bridge the Gap uh, production ZA. So that would be awesome on Instagram as well as on Facebook. And of course, the crowdfunding, uh, we can get involved via your social media platforms? Absolutely. That's where you'll find it. Thank you so much. Have a lick day further. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Stan. Cheers. Ciao, ciao. Thanks for your time. Bye. That's Nicola Daddy doing the most. That was Hashtag Future Cape Town. Good Hope FM opening up the airwaves to the youth of Cape Town.